Just tell him, Father, I thank you for seeing me through all these problems. Thank you, Jesus, for your blessings upon our life. For your goodness and mercy upon your children. Father, we say thank you. Thank you for being here present today in the midst of your people. Thank you, Jesus. Let your presence, Father, activate miracles. Let your power bring deliverance. Let your power bring peace in the world. Let your power and glory, Father, restore the dignity of this nation. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father, Jesus. for your presence, we cannot go forward. Amen. Therefore, I ask for your divine intervention this moment. Amen. Let every reason why we are here today, Father, return all glory unto you. Amen. For it is in Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Amen. 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 Settle. God bless you. Pick up your Bible and your writing materials and get seated balance over your enemies. Make sure you are sitting upon troubles, difficulties, challenges. Make sure you are seated upon every nemesis of the past. Tell yourself they are of the past and forever they will remain the past in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. I thank God for the life of the woman of God whom God used to bless us in the first service. Amen. I pray that the good Lord keep ministering inspirational words unto her. Amen. I pray that the good Lord energize her the more. Amen. The grace of God upon her life will greatly increase in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray that as you enter into this tune, that the grace of God will abound in your life and family in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You will not lose any You will not rush anyone to the hospital this month. Amen. You will not be quarantined. Amen. No member of your household will be quarantined. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Anyone that is sick around you receive healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Whatsoever be your heart desire, your expectations. I pray that the good Lord release it unto you now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Lord. Let this service serve as a long-awaited miracle of our life. Amen. Let everyone that is sick be healed. Amen. The oppressed be loosed. Amen. And the captive be set free. Amen. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Amen. Amen. Please open the Bible. I'll take my first text from the book of Matthew chapter 6 and verse number 21 Matthew chapter 6 and verse number 21 if you have your Bible open to the book of Matthew chapter 6 and verse number 21 and the topic of my message this morning says guide your interest jealously guide your interest jealously I know some of you might be asking why such topic why such message guide your interest guide your interest jealously guide it jealously guide your interest jealously Guide whatever you have with every strength inside of you. I will explain what interest means. The interest here is not the profit you receive in your business. The interest here is not concerning your business. Yes, you will have your interest on your business. I will talk about that. You will also have your interest on your marriage. I will speak about it. You will have your interest on your plans, your projects. I will speak on those ones. But the interest I am driving to is the interest of your future, the interest of your dreams. 
the interest of the copy of your future, the blueprint. In other words, guide your destiny jealously. That is our topic. What are my dreams? This is a question that should be going on in our minds. This is a question that will be going on in everyone's mind. What is my dream? What is my dream? Your dream is like the photocopy of your future. The photocopy of your destiny. The photocopy. Your dream is like your target in life. Your destination. Where you think you will go to in life. What you think that you will become in life. What you think that you are becoming in the nearest future. Your dream is the place where you are driving to. Your dream is not money. Money helps you to achieve your dream. Your dream is not house. Child of God, your dream is not properties. Don't have properties as your dream. But have in your minds the picture the picture of all those things both house money children qualities of the life you will see yourself in the nearest future see yourself your wife your husband your children inside your own private jet touring from country to country investing harvesting establishing ruling the world don't see yourself just like an ordinary person don't see yourself just like nobody if people calls you nobody call not yourself nobody because you are somebody if people calls you non-entity call yourself papentity you, if people calls you rubbish call yourself everything child of God don't allow people to quote you because nobody wants you to be better than him. If you are dreaming dreams, don't stop dreaming. Continue dreaming. Keep on driving those dreams. Don't dream one dream and think that you are enough, you are okay, you are comfortable with that dream. Keep on dreaming. Keep on aiming high. Child of God, don't aim high only on fashion those who aim on fashion stops on fashion and cannot go anywhere anymore don't be an ordinary person don't sit down in a day without thinking something small that no need of nursing this dream every dream has a starting point. Child of God, if it is conception for you to conceive, it has a starting point. Yes, sir. If you want to build a house, it has a starting point. Even if you want to marry, it has a starting point. If you want to buy anything, if you want to establish anything on earth, it has a starting point. And quote me right, the starting point will never be big. But it will start gradually. 
What I'm about to tell you today will benefit you greatly if you can only listen to me. I don't know who God said I should come and bless today. Then you have no dreams. I hope you still understand what I mean by dreams. I have explained what dreams is. Dream is the photocopy of where you want to see yourself in life. Don't just dream to be an ordinary trader. There are multi-million traders. There are multi-billion traders. Not billion in Naira alone, but billion in dollars. Child of God, if you are going to be a singer, start from small though. Child of God, don't dream that that people's dream will be greater than your own dream. Nobody wants you better than himself. Nobody wants you better than herself. No matter how the person may love you, the person will never want you to be better than himself. No matter how you relate to the person or how much you are connected to the person, nobody will ever want you to be better than him or her. Even if you have blood relationship with the person, they will never want you to be bigger than them. Praise the Lord. So, your dream is the blueprint. You have not gotten there, but you have it in your hand. You have not achieved it, but you have the process. You have all the timetables on how to achieve them. There are people here that have lived their 2020 and they are now entering their 2021. Put me right, but I'm driving you to somewhere. Child of God, don't ever live your life depending on anybody. You are the worst dreamer ever. Don't ever live your life waiting for someone. You are the worst dreamer in life. Child of God, time waits for nobody. I have never seen when they want to break. Somebody tell the day, wait, I never finish my business. Has it ever happened? No, sir. Never dream your dream. Waiting for someone to support your dream. Nobody will ever support your dream. Child of God, the topic once again said, guide your interest jealously. If you tell me your dream, I will never want that dream to be better than my own dream. Therefore, guide that dream. I read a place in the Bible. I don't think you have ever come across it. The book of Proverbs, chapter number 23, and verse number 23. The Bible said there, buy the truth and sell it not. It is only in a platform like this that someone who loves you can tell you the truth. Listen, there is nobody that God created and call that person non-entity. In as much as you have the sense of reasoning, you can have a dream. In as much as you can think normal, if you see one plus one, you know it is two. You have the power to drive visions. Am I driving too forward? No, sir. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Child of God, no matter how poorly or how small you are starting, don't underrate the power of that poor beginning. I've seen people who started business with 8,000 naira. And today they are controlling more than 1 million naira. Don't underestimate the power of a little beginning. The Bible said in the book of Job, chapter number 8 and verse number 7, that though his beginning was so small, was jeopardized, 
But he, his later end was greatly increased. Though his beginning was so small, but his letter end was greatly increased. Child of God, what happens to every dream is this. They start from small, but they grow to the biggest. If you wait for your dreams, your dreams will pass you. But if you move ahead of your dreams, your dream will be coming to meet you up. Time waits for nobody. The book of Matthew, chapter number 6 and verse number 21 said, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. For where your treasure is, wherever your treasure is, there will be heart to That also. is the place where your heart should be. Am I speaking to someone here? After today, the world will come to buy from you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I don't care to know how many people that have been laughing at you. They may laugh at you, but very soon they will join you and praise your company in the name of Jesus. Amen. Uh -uh. But listen, I'm not talking to everybody. Talking to everybody must not be rich at the same time. In John chapter 12 and verse number 8, Jesus said that there will be poor among us. My question is this. Who should that poor person be? The one who has low mentality of reasoning. The one who do not have sense of capturing information. I'm going to give you information that will help you forever in your life. Please, give me your ears. Now listen. Listen. The Bible said that wherever the your treasure of is, a man is, here will your heart also be. Can I ask you a stupid question? Where is your treasure? What is your treasure in life? What do you treasure after? What are those things that gives you sleepless nights? Listen, if how to eat food and how to wear clothes gives you sleepless nights, child of God, you are not a dreamer. You will end up being a liability to your family. Please forgive me. I'm not abusing anybody. But, listen, if you are not a dreamer, who is dreaming on how to solve your family whole problem and solve your village whole problem? If you are busy creating a enmity, the more you create an enmity here, you go another place, you are having enemies. You go to another place, you are having enemies. Child of God, that is mentality of a poor person. You will ever remain poor. Please forgive me. Those people you are creating enmity with are those people that will help to lift you up in life. The Bible said in the book of Proverbs, chapter number 25, if I'm not mistaken, verse number 21. Or chapter number 21, verse number 25. The Bible said, if your enemy is hungry, give him food to eat. There are certain enemies that will help elevate your vision. If you read the book of 1 Samuel chapter 30, verse number 8, the Bible said, and David went to Abiata and asked Abiata, shall I pursue? Will I overtake? Shall I recover all? In verse number 12, he met an enemy who was dying of hunger. The first thing he did was to give him bread to eat and water to drink. And when the enemy regained strength, the enemy told him, No kill me. Where are you going to? Looking for your wife and your children. He, David had not told him what he wanted, but he has started revealing all the secrets to David. There are certain enemies you need in your life. Don't chase them all out. You need some. Praise God. Hallelujah. Don't lock doors against all enemies. You need some. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now, when the Bible said that where a man's treasure is, that is where his heart is. It is not treasure as in husband. You know, some women call their husband treasure. No. 
guys know what I'm talking about. Some husband called their wife treasure. Choice. My heart. Guys know what I'm talking about. How do you pinch your tents? How do you throw your arrows? Have you ever seen fishermen? They will stay from afar and throw their net. Their net will spread. Go far, 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 far. What are they looking for? Fish. If they throw their net, their net go far. The farther the net goes, the greater number of the fish they will capture. Praise God. Hallelujah. Do you know that fish is intelligent? If you are inside the water now, you inside the water, fish know that enemy is in the water. Yes, sir. And they will run. They will go far. Listen. If you are here and you throw your net far, the fish saw you here. But the fish do not see your net there. You will capture the fish. Not with your hands, but with your net. Your dreams stand to be like your net. You are not there, but you can reach there. You are not there, but you can get there. Child of God, if you are using phones only to browse on Facebook, and buy data day and night and that same Facebook is not returning that data back. Please forgive me. You are semi-fool. Forgive me. Please forgive me. I'm not trying to like abuse. But listen, you must have a dream. You must not be a liability to your husband. You must not be a liability to your wife. You must not be a liability to your family. Your father trained you in school, expecting that by now, as all your mess are building house, that you are coming back to build house, and your own is only to come back in December. Eat their food. Go back to the city. Child of God, you are still a liability to your family. I am not trying to abuse anybody. Please, I'm not mentioning anyone's name. But, listen. If what I am trying to say today is affecting your life, rise up. I don't care to know what you may think in your brain, but granite can change your destiny. You may start with granite and end up with trailers and warehouse of granite. You may start with bottles of granite and you will end up with trailers and containers of granite. Child of God, you may be exporting granite or you may be importing other things. I want you to know that however you drive your dreams, that is how much more the dream, the dream drives you. If you cannot drive your dreams with force, your dreams can never drive you higher in life. The Bible said, as a man thinketh in his heart, so he is. The level of your thinking determines the level of your attitude. If you think higher than yourself, you grow higher than yourself. But if you think lower than yourself, if your thought is only how to eat food, please drive me to the book of Genesis chapter 25. I want to show you something there. There are some persons that are like this, my friend, I'm about to talk to now. Genesis 25, from verse 27 to 34. Genesis 20, 25. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. From verse 27. Uh -huh. And the boys grew. And, and he, Esau and Jacob grew. Twins that were born in the house of Jacob and Rebekah. They grew in the strength of the Lord. Uh -huh. And Esau was a cunning hunter. The Bible said Esau was a smart hunter. A man of the field. A man of the field. And Jacob was a plain man. The Bible said that Jacob was a plain man. A game man. Dwelling in tents. Dwelling in tents. Please watch me. 
Watch me. Please, just give me one minute. One minute. I will speak in Igbo. I'll translate it in English. Abaka Mombo. I won't hear how we can go. Child of God, that you wake up in the morning, early in the morning, and keep struggling till late in the night. That is not that. That is not to say that you are going to be rich in life. Listen, I concluded my message, but you people do not understand that I have concluded my message. The Bible said that as a man thinketh in his heart, so he is. Do you know a good preacher should know that my message is done? The total figure of what I'm trying to deliver to you today is that you are where you are today by the reason of your level of thoughts. What are you thinking? What have you been thinking? Even when people are not there, you are thinking how to go and recharge your Go TV because you don't want to miss the coming program. Child of God, you, your foolishness is more than like, is much more than those who are foolish in life. If only what you are thinking of is on how to meet up with the program, child of God, your own foolishness is much more than those who are in on the street begging. Now listen, let me tell you this. There is nothing, nothing that can change you like yourself. Please, you do not get me. Even if I talk from now reach next week Sunday, there is no object that can change you like yourself. If you decide to change, you will change. Can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? Isha, if it is empty, this head, there is no need of staying on this head. It will become load on the head, on the neck. You do not get me. I hear you, sir. If your head does not carry heavy load, dreams, oversized dreams, it will be a, a load on the neck. Yet, please, I'm not abusing anybody. Some of us, our eyes is so big, but we know they see anything. Jesus said, I they get, but they know they see. Ear they get, but they know they hear. Ngwa. Am I abusing you if Jesus has said this? Now watch me. Watch me. What have you... Eh? What have you been thinking? Sometimes if I'm looking at some people, I will be... Ah, what is this person thinking now? Now, As I look at now. What is this person? What, what can this person be thinking of now? Child of God there are some small, small boys that are doing legitimate business. They are there, morning, afternoon. And some people, you may call them, they don't pick your call. Not because they don't want to pick your call or they hate you, but they are busy thinking and calculating. Child of God, if you always sleep and sleep and sleep, the Bible said in the book of Proverbs, wake up, oh you sleeper. Too much sleeping is an act of laziness. Please forgive me. Sometimes wake up in the night. All these years, what have you benefited from sleeping? I hope I'm not abusing anybody. Please watch me. If you go home this, this so I know some people will give excuse this year because of coronavirus. But listen, let me tell you. There are people who made billions in this coronavirus. There are people who made hundreds of millions during the coronavirus period. During the lockdown, their business was going on. So don't give excuse. 
because of lockdown. After all, you have phones. You have gadgets that can link you, that can connect you. Do you know there are certain sites if you enter, you goggle and get people you do business online with and they pay you even in hard currency. This one is not dubious. Child of God, I want you to know that the way you think determines, eh, you try the first one, it fail. Try the second one. Try the third one. The man that invented this electricity, he tried many times and failed many times. It was someone that invented engine inside car. It was someone that invented generator engine. It was someone that started every other thing that you were thinking of. Someone started flying on the air. Someone tested it. Someone tried the engine to fly on the air. And he began to fly on the air. Someone tried locomotive train engine. And he entered road. Take people on train from place to place. Someone invented ship to float container on the water. And the container will be moving. Listen, the very first time he tried it, the, the, the container tumbled. He started again. After building it, that one scattered. He tried much more than 50 times. And he failed on those 50 times. That you fail is a pointer. Is a reminder that you can try better. That you failed is an answer to those things which you failed in the other time. It is a reminder that in another one, you will correct those mistakes that made you fail continue trying. You will not fail all the time. At some point you will get it right. And people surrounding you, they will clap for you. Can I tell you something? Yes, sir. In the race of life, there are spectators and there are participators. There are also competitors. You don't hear me? I hear you, sir. There are spectators. How many set of people? There are, aspect, there are people watching you. There are people who come to join. They are there. In whatever that will make you succeed or fail, they will contribute to it. And there are competitors. Those who are with you in that race. They don't want you ever to win them. They don't want you ever to come out best. Listen. Guide your interest jealously. Guide it. Hey! Esau, you came out in the same womb with Jacob, but your own is struggling. Jacob, his own is in the house. Listen, let me tell you. I said this, Abaka Mumbo, over here we wake up ago, that you too struggle, no being they say you go get money pass. Abi. If not, barrel pushers in the market, now them forget money pass. People where they offload and load, they, now them forget money pass. People where they carry kayak, now them suffer pass now. Now listen. Esau, every day he goes out. Please, if you wake up every morning, tell God to give you divine direction. If you miss divine direction in your daily activities you have missed your dreams you have missed your targets you have missed your path can i shock you if you marry and marry wrongly your own has finished if you enter a wrong lane your own has finished. you will be there forever unless if you change the gear I know some of it's like I'm driving so high. No, sir. Some of you are not understanding me. We are understanding you. Have you ever noticed that anybody that entered into his destined business, it is always like the person do juju, the person do ritualist. Listen, let me tell you. Until God gives you divine in, in the book of Psalm 127, verse 1, the Bible said, Except the Lord builds a house. Those who are building that house are building in vain. Except the Lord watches over your house, 
watches over your business watches over the city in vain you wake up in the morning struggling and go back late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow now listen Esau his own is toiling in the field check up there are people who are created like that after today I will pray for you you hear me yes sir not because their father prepared wealth for them but because God is with them there are people who are created so that they will not suffer in life if you read the book of Romans chapter 9 if I'm not mistaken in verse number 11 12 13 the Bible said Esau have I hated but Jacob have I loved Esau you make no gain it from the womb the Bible said that the revelation was given to Rebekah even when those children were not yet born. And the Spirit of God told Rebekah, Esau, have I hated, but Jacob, I loved. Why? Please, John, no, 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 why? If God be for you, no one will be against you. But if God be against you, everything will be against you. Nothing will ever work for you. Please watch me. Esau, we wake up early, go for hunting. Jacob will relax. But before Esau will come back, Jacob have made a lot of food, made a lot of progress, made a lot of profit. Esau, why? May God change your destiny. Amen. to less suffering in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. If suffer better for your head, don't shout amen. I said, may God lessen suffering for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Listen, the little thing you will do, God will bless it with abundant connection and wealth in the name of Jesus. Amen. Anything you will do in life, you will see favor. Amen. The Bible said in the book of Proverbs chapter 3 verse 4, that you shall find favor before God and before men. Listen, from today as you live here, you will see favor in the sight of all men in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will see favor in the sight of God in the name of Jesus. Amen. God will link you to people. Amen. If God choose you, you will play in any field. Yes, sir. You will go to any country and you will be favored. If God selects you, brother, it don't better for you. May God select you today. Amen. But I'm not talking to everybody. I said, may God select you today. Amen. May God honor you today. Amen. May God look at your name today. Amen. May God change your story today. Amen. Sufferness is over in your family. Amen. Sufferness is over in your life. Amen. Sufferness is over in your generation. Amen. You will change the name of your generation. Amen. Abuse is over your generation. Amen. Insult is over forever. Amen. You are coming out of poverty. Amen. You are coming out of poverty. Amen. You are coming out of poverty. Amen. Come out! Amen. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Feel this temple with your presence. Spirit, you are welcome. Feel this temple with your presence.